You guys, it's me again. Uh, I just got back from my workout and I'm going to show you a good post-workout shake that I do. So the first thing you want to do is I'm going to get, a, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm using a low-fat organic milk. People that are on uh, diets, um, if you want to use fat-free milk, that's fine. So I'm going to use about one cup of this and pour that in. All right. I'm gonna also grab from the fridge, or excuse me, the freezer, a couple of cubes of ice. If you want to put more, that's fine. The next thing I'm gonna use is about just a small handful of uh, unsweetened mixed berries. Good source of uh, antioxidants. And this is a combo of uh, raspberries, blueberries, and strawberries. So I'm gonna do that. And the next step I'm going to do is I'm, I use the 100% uh, wheat protein. So I'm using about one scoop of that. That away. And the next step I'm going to use is one medium sized banana. And uh, one quick thing I wanted to say is when I first started making shakes, I, I didn't use a banana, but uh, what, what was happening was during my really grueling workouts, um, pretty much I was getting cramps. So ever since I've been using just one single banana in the morning, I haven't had one cramp since. So uh, for you endurance athletes, especially high intensity, throw in that banana. And last but certainly not least, I used to use peanut butter, but uh, I go a little bit more uh, natural. So uh, Trader Joe's uh, almond butter, you see that right there. And the uh, list of ingredients is uh, dry roasted almonds. There's no hydrogenated oil, no extra fillers. So I'm going to take about one spoonful of that. Grab a quick spoon. So pour that in. Chewy. I'm gonna mix it and blend it. So let's do it. That's pretty much it. You can see that from there. It's very good. If you want to drink it right from the blender, that's fine. If you want to use a cup, it's fine. left in there, so I'll drink some. Okay. Very tasty. And this is a good uh, protein uh, shake because um, it has a lot of the essential greens that you need on a daily basis. You get the calcium and dairy from the, the milk, you get the healthy fats from the almond butter, uh, you get the protein obviously from the wheat protein, and you get your, your fruits from your berries, which are good antioxidants, and you get your potassium from your from your uh, banana. One thing I wanted to mention uh, before I leave is, for people that are trying to lose uh, weight or on a very strict diet and uh, are watching their carb count, you might be saying, uh, wow, this might be a lot of carbs because this protein shake I calculate has about between 45 and 53 grams of carbs and that's going to vary depending on if you use fat-free milk or whole milk or skim milk and your banana size if you're using a small or a large. But just remember that I would not worry about that too much because if you have this, I typically have this right early in the morning and you get a lot of your carbs earlier in the morning. If you're on a strict diet, it's important that in addition to having this shake to make sure that the remainder of the day you get adequate protein, you know, chicken, fish, turkey, eggs and carb and the carbohydrates you want to get mostly from your green veggies and if you do that and taper off on your carbs but for the remainder of the day then you should be fine 
Okay, if you have any more comments and questions, please feel free to uh, respond. See you guys next time. Thanks.